essay for all. Today, let us discuss about the clock divided by three circuit. Yeah. I am going to explain how to design clock divided by three using digital logic elements such as flip flop and universal gates. A divided by three clock requires a mod three counters. It can be constructed by using two flip flops with the power of two represent the number of flip flop required for mod three counter and the number of states required for mod counter is three states that is zero 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 one one zero and the final state is not required for us so we determined it as the x x the output of the clock divided by three is not fifty percent duty cycle the duty cycle will be seventy five percent if the output is one one zero and we get raised doubt that how to realize the micro architecture for the clock divide by three here the table is given that by this table we can design a circuit here we have a doubt that how to realize the equation for the input of flip flop a flip flop e and the output is shown in the next slide first of all we just see that what is this table here the first block is the current state the next one is the next state and last one is the output here q b q a are the present states of two flip flops and q b plus and q a plus are the next states of the flip flops and here we wrote we wrote a condition that the clock the data should be changed after the three clock pulses only therefore at the first clock pulse the, the data is and that means the output is one and the other clock clock cycle also the output become one and the, at the last of the clock cycle our data or the output will become changes and the other other stages the fourth stages we don't require it therefore by this table we can draw the k maps and we can design the circuit here the k maps are drawn for the flip flop a k map realization for the input and flip flop b and the finally the k map realization for the output of flip flop b here we realize it and we get da is equal to q a bar and q b bar and the db is equal to q b bar and the output equal to q a plus q b bar by this we, we design the circuit here we use the two d flip flops and the output bar of the both the flip, both the flip flops are ended together that means the q a bar and q b bar are both are ended together and the input is the output of the end gate is given to the input as the input as the d a and here another modification is that the QA, QA and this QB both are or together Q together to give the 75% of the duty cycle. Yeah. Let's say the timing diagram for the clock divided by three without 50% duty cycle. Here inputs are clock and reset and the output is clock out. Here let us see this reset clock and clock out here whenever the reset is one then then the clock out become the become in the high state and whenever the whenever the reset is become zero then the it starts the functionality here whenever the clock we get the positive clock edge then the out the corresponding output at the t flip flop will be appeared at the clock out here we gave the input as one one zero therefore for the first clock pulse we see that the clock out become one for the second clock pulse the clock out become one and for the third clock pulse it become changed to the zero here we get the output but we didn't get the 50 percent duty cycle so to generate the 50 percent duty cycle here the circuit is modified modified like this to get the 50% duty cycle the output of the flip flop b 
will as the input to the negative its trigger flip flop the output of the third flip flop and the output of the second flip flop is given as the input to the or gate then by changing this modification we can get the 50 percent duty cycle here this is a timing diagram of the 50 percent duty cycle here and the same can implement other odd clock divider such as the clock divider by 5 clock divider 7 and etc here let us see the input and the output the input is clock and reset and the output is clock out here this is the reset this is the clock and this is the clock out when we refer this when the reset is high then it will be come in the initial state when we got the when it is reset is become zero then the circuit started functionality so for, for the first clock cycle it become low for the second clock cycle it become low and after the second clock pulse whenever the third clock pulse is arise then it become changes states here let us see for the first clock pulse and second clock pulse and, the first, and whenever the third clock pulse we get then the state get changes it means it gets 50 percent of duty cycle this is all about today Thank you.